with Sister Mary Lawler, and I'm chaplain here at Nace General Hospital. You are very welcome to Nace General Hospital to join us in our service of remembrance for those who died during the pandemic time. Alice Kinsella, our general manager of the hospital, will lead us now in her opening address. On behalf of the staff of Nace General Hospital, I would like to welcome you all to our service of remembrance for those who died during the COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to offer you our deepest sympathy on your recent loss, which was compounded further by the severe and necessary restrictions of the COVID-19 pandemic. These restrictions touch the very core of society. All common structures as we know them were gone, including our hospital structure. We had to quickly find a way to respect the new normal, but still live the vision of care, which was so different in these new circumstances. For each family, it was very different circumstances, but the similarities remain. The loss that surrounds dying and death, all the usual rituals that we pride ourselves in Ireland were gone. The loss of the traditional funeral, the support of the community, the isolation to name a few. All the supports that help the grieving processes were gone. Today's service is brought to you from our hospital oratory, which is significant as you and your family were remembered today during the pandemic time here. Sister Mary, our chaplain, set up a small prayer team, which included Bishop Dennis Nolte, Kildare Loughran, Father Lee Morgan, parish priest in Nace, Father Sean Maher, Roman Catholic priest from Nace, Reverend Philip Peake, Church of Ireland minister from Nace. A member of the prayer team spent time each day in the oratory praying for all patients and their families, all deceased patients and their families, staff who are sick and their families, and all staff who are working in the hospital. Before I conclude, I would like to leave you with a quote from Dr. Elizabeth Cumbler Ross, a Swiss psychiatrist and author on the subject of death and dying. I quote, You will not get over the loss of a loved one. You will learn to live with it. You will heal and rebuild yourself around the loss you have suffered, and you will see uh, the whole again, but you will never be the same, nor should you want to be. End of quote. We hope that today's service will in some way be a support to you as you move forward in your lives. And Sister Mary will now lead us in our service. Anne will come forward and will light our candle to symbolize our belief in the eternal nature of love that can never be extinguished. Our first reading is read by Gillian O'Loughlin, taken from the book Amankara, written by John O'Neill. Death is not the end, it is the rebirth. You cannot see the person who has died with human eye, but you can sense them. You can sense those who have died. With the refinement of our soul, you can sense them. You feel that they are near. They know us better now than they can ever have known us in life. They know everything about us, even things that may disappoint them. But since they are transfigured, their understanding and compassion is proportionate to everything they come to know about us. We grieve for those who have died. They are in a place where there is no more shadow, darkness, or pain. They are with God from whom they came. They have returned to the nest of their identity within the great circle of God, the largest embrace in the universe, which holds visible and invisible, temporal and eternal as one. Eternal life is a life where all that we seek, goodness, unity, beauty, truth, and love, are completely present to us.
Now that would lies our second candle for all who have died in our hospital during the pandemic time. May they be at peace. Elena would light our third candle, and this candle will light for all who are grieving at this time. Fiona comes forward to light our fourth candle. We light this candle for our staff, for staff who are sick and their families, and for staff who are grieving at this time. Caroline comes forward to light our fifth candle. This candle will be light for our leaders, leaders of our government and those in the self health service executive who guided us during the pandemic time. We particularly remember Dr. Tony Hulman and his family. Mark will light our sixth candle. We light this candle for our local community who supported us in so many different and creative ways during the pandemic. The candles are a reminder of the heart's capacity to overcome darkness and the assurance of brighter days to come. Even in darkness, love can triumph and we can always find light, life, healing and hope. And we now invite you to listen to Father Lee Long's hymn that he wrote during the pandemic time, You Are Not Alone. You are not alone In our garden outside, we have staff members from different disciplines who will recite the adopted version of the Jewish prayer we remember. We invite you to say the name of your loved one as we remember them. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of the winter, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the opening of the buds and the rebirth of spring, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of the summer, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are lost and sick of heart, we, we remember them. them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we, we remember, remember them. them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are a part of us, as we, we remember, remember them. them. Lisa will lead us in a short reflection and a poem written during the pandemic time. Grief is an 
normal response to loss. But the COVID-19 pandemic has upended many aspects of the normal grieving process. Grief is not just sadness. You can feel grief in your body. Grief ambushes you and grief is the price of love. Give yourself permission to mourn. Be gentle on yourself during this difficult time. We want to remember that a relationship is made up of all of life's shared times and this can never be taken away from you. The following poem that I'm going to read was written by Kevin McCormack during the pandemic time. It captures that difficult period. Today we mourned you differently. Today we mourned you differently, not in the way we would have liked to or felt you deserved. A fetter celebration, not enough to even begin to pay tribute to the life you lived. Today we mourned you differently. The pageantry was sparse, we had no singer to sing your songs, and the shoulders of the fine men who reared you were bare. They would have gladly, though sadly, taken your weight with pride and carried you to where you may see. Today we mourned you differently. Your friends and neighbours lined the street, a noble gesture with poor substitute for the squeeze of a shoulder, an embrace, and the vice grip handshakes, full of grief, solidarity, and questions. Today, we mourned you differently. The bare handful of us, the chosen few, stood around you while broad backed men from the old days trembled in the distance. And from a parked car, your brother looked on and pursed lips through the condensation. Today, we mourned you differently. Sad eyes looked up from where big hands were holding little hands that didn't understand. Not that the big hands understood much better. Today, we mourned you differently. But this much is true. You were gone, but not without a trace, as you are in every face you leave behind, in every imprint of your foot on the path you so diligently wore from the rose bushes to the kitchen door. Today, we mourned you differently. Before I lead you in our concluding prayer, we hope that this service will support your grieving journey. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of life of our loved ones, of our loved ones who have gone before us. They have gifted us by their presence and continue to be present to us in spirit. We remember them today for their companionship, love and the gift of their friendship. We remember the happy times we shared, the hard times that brought us together, and the road we have walked side by side. May the divine light present in the universe shine in and through them and around them as they rest in divine love. Amen. Spend it in good company, and of all the harm that e'er I done, alas, it was to none but me. For Glass 